Hi everyone, this is Donella with Princess Pretty Much. And I just posted an Instagram picture of my new um, coloring book. And it is so nice and thick, has lots of pages, and it's in, called Inspire Psalms. So in each on each page, there is a psalm. It goes all the way to 150, uh, the last chapter of Psalms. And it's a journaling coloring book. It is so nice. Let me slow that down. It's really nice. I can't wait to get started in here. I'm excited about this. Alrighty. I have a huge craft haul. So, this right here is some lovely, lovely romantic floral paper. Uh, whenever I do uh, or finish one of those, um, I haven't showed it yet. That's why. I, okay, so I have a, uh, I have a couple of. Uh, those wedding scrapbooks and so I'm going to turn those into or I'm in the process of turning those into junk journals and uh, this is some of the type of paper that I have in there already pattern paper and it's just lovely and I've made tags out of uh, lace and beads it's really pretty it looks like a wedding dress the tags do uh, not in the shape, but the materials that I used. And then I backed it with cardstock so it could be written on. Uh, they're very, very pretty. I haven't shown it yet because I haven't finished that yet. So this is some beautiful paper. We'll put that there. And I'll just put this here. Um, this construction zone paper pad, look how much that is. It's brand new. Hasn't been used. 150 sheets of colored pattern paper can you see that I'm going pretty fast but it's got some sparkly paper and then it's got some nice cool patterns on there okay and then I have another coloring book this is from Michaels and this is all thrifted from the Goodwill outlet uh yeah nice I like that it should be very relaxing <clears throat> and I have uh, this uh, lovely K and Company uh, pattern paper. This is eight full sheets of uh, this, and this is what each sheet will look like. I get, and it's two sheets. It's it's not been used. <clears throat> Excuse me. And with that, I have these. I this was in an album, but I didn't want the album, so I got this. These sheets. I love. Love, 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 love these stickers. These are some of my favorite st stickers besides memory keepers because they're around the same size. <clears throat> Excuse me, they're kind of small. And then these are like punch outs. I love this. And that go that's going to go into uh, some recipe uh, journals. Nice, nice, nice. I've already done like four of those. Uh, here's some the alpha stickers to that set. And then I have these note cards. This is um, from the books of, you know, the uh, sheets, book logs that you put in your your books. This is those. And I have, uh, like, I have a nice little stash of these. Not the same kinds. They're, they're all different. And, and I love putting these in my journals. Really nice. And uh, it hasn't been opened. They're brand new. Let me show you. And this is the company. Okay. And here are some uh, post-it note. Uh, these are vintage. Po uh, this, this box is nice too. I have I found two of them. They were selling these for a dollar. Not at the outlet, but I guess when they were originally being sold. Just want to show you. I showed you some that uh, I had. I only have a box, and they had uh, the book stove, the old telephone, and I forgot what that other thing is called. I think it's one of these, too, in there. But this has the rocking chair, that uh, coffee maker, I guess, coffee grinder. Yeah. And then it's another one I saw. Okay, here it is. And then this flower 
pot thing. It's really cute. I love that it's uh, the colors are really vibrant. You see that? It's really nice. Okay, and then we have this one. Let me turn this back around. This is Wishing You Well. It's cute. And then there's a cake. Happy birthday cake plate. These are really cute, too. Oh, that's nice. And this is Congratulations. And they're nice. And these are all blank on... Oh, they're not blank. They're like postcards. I'm posting them. I'm sorry. post notes. These are note cards. So they're not blank on the back. Okay, that's nice. The, my, the other ones I have are blank on the back. They don't have that. Yeah, these do too. These have the, the post a note and stamp here. So these are postcards. That's cute. The other one isn't like that. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Oh, that those are uh, br uh, little bread. Well, come on now. I just saw you. Here it is. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Those go with bees. So these are brads. These are pewter brads. And these are oval ring fasteners. And they're pewter. And excuse my fingernail. It's got a little scratch on my neck. I didn't even see that missing. But anyway, um, yeah, these go with that. And so these will be cute with junk journals too. Nice. Nice as fasteners. Okay, and then I have some, some, uh, you know what this is, some ribbon. And this is, let me take it out a little bit. This is, uh, this is like a charcoal uh, gray. And it's, it's really nice. The material is nice. Can you see that? Okay, but it's charcoal gray. And oh, I fell in love with this. You see this really pretty pink. With this silver, um, in you know, laying in the center of it, it was it's so pretty. I had to get that. And then let me show you. I got this passport explorer. Um, this it just holds a passport. It's really nice. And that's London. And here this is. Isn't that cute? And here are some metal frames. Uh, it's woven co corners, and here's some metal frames. And this is from Making Memories. Got these two from there. Okay, and I love this little Christmas pig. Putting this in my Christmas journal, and I do Christmas journals every year. I just don't, I don't show them, because uh, I don't know why. And this says, go ahead and be naughty this Christmas. No one will squeal on you. Love that. And I have two of those. And they're Hallmark. Nice. And this is a sticker book. Garden Fairy sticker book. Cute, cute, cute. Very cute. I have some fairy ephemera. Haven't started on uh, that journal, uh, putting together that journal yet. But I have some gorgeous fairy ephemera from books and uh, other scraps and stuff like that. I found this 2019 calendar. I am going to use this. Um, I used to, this is what I used to use as a planner. Those uh, from my bank, I used to use the free calendars that they give out and this is what i started with because i had always wanted a franklin covey and they were so expensive at the time um too expensive for my budget and since i was getting these free i would literally come in and decorate these pages and doodle and even though uh there's not much room i would get more done with these <laughs> than i do with my uh actual binder uh ring planners and binder planners but i said i was going to get back to this and see how it works if it's you know it's kind of minimalist and so i'm going to see if this will work for me like it did long time ago and if it does i'm going to be destashing and i'm going to start doing things like this just to be more of a minimalist minimalist try to anyway I'm going to see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, I got a bunch of stickers. 
you all a bunch of stickers. So please bear with me. I have a bunch of stickers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about zooming out so fast. All right, let's start with this. These are some sandy line. These are, I think these are vintage because I, I've had, I found some down there before and I don't remember seeing sandy line in, in the stores anywhere. So these must be vintage. Love those. And here's Stickopotamus stickers. These are birthday stickers. And here's some birthday cakes. And here are, these are like my most favorite stickers of all time. These are memory, memory keeper stickers see how tiny they are they go in planners they they're great for planners and journaling so they're cute and i got all these i'm so excited and this binder this little sticker uh holder i've never seen this before so it must be memory keepers uh package Let's see creative memories i said memory keepers here you go creative memories this is them and this is where you can find them these are my favorite stickers this brand that is and here is uh, me and my big idea stickers I've already used a couple of these as you can see <laughs> here's some K and Company Valentine stickers uh, this is a, a creative memory sticker sheet cute this is creative imaginations I think oh, I'm gonna I can't wait to use these see that roller coaster and then this is a fun house. Uh, that, was a, that was fun rides. This is fun house. It's cute, isn't it? Uh, these are also creative memories. This is paper and stickers. Uh, pattern paper. And this is Sandy Lion. Embossed. Yeah. That's pretty, 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 pretty. Okay. And then here is some more uh, creative memories. This is a... Uh, pack of pattern paper really nice all of them are different here's some of those stickers and this is yeah this is sticko and here are some very pretty Christmas stickers and this is who is this PSX designs for creativity never heard of them but these are gorgeous stickers I've got two of those sheets, and here is Paper Bliss stickers, some party hats. Here's some more sticko, party themed, stickopotamus, party themed. This goes in your, this will go in your um, B6 or compact for Franklin Covey uh, binders for your planner. You can put these in your planner, these stickos or stickopotamus. You can put these in your planners. Cute. See, I told you I love these stickers. And Susan, this is Susan. Let me shake this for just a second. Down. Susan Branch. That's who makes these stickers. These are these are very fun. It's a birthday theme. And here is Sticky Picks. And these are all airplanes. And here is Paper House. I have, I love these too. I have uh, quite a few of these in my collection. And here is Sue Dreamer. I've never heard of her, but she did a beautiful job on these. And here are some more creative memory stickers. These are stickers. And here. And I'm not going to take those out. It's this, I have a lot more to show. Here are some stickers. And there are pattern paper pages with this also. And I love the way they um, put them in these little plastic envelopes I love that so there are stickers in here and pattern paper and they show you right here love it this is the same thing right here love it and so let me just get the rest of this out okay you all sorry about this but it's a lot okay <laughs> All right, I know, I know I just jumbled that up there, but I'm going to show you. Isn't that cute? This is so cool. This is a yeah, Japanese man or Mexican. I do believe this is Japanese. Oh, look at him. 
cute. I just took these out of the pack. I wanted you to see these up close. Aren't they cute? And this is how they look on the back. They're plasticky. These are like iron. These are iron ons. I want to show you them. Ah, oh, I got three of them. Aren't they cute? I just took them out the pack uh, earlier. And this is a a dragon. This is going to go on a tassel, a charm. This is a charm, and this is going to go on a tassel. And here are some uh, alpha stickers. They're really tiny and cute. Really tiny. You see that? See how tiny they are? Cute, cute, cute. Camp Tuckahoe. I am going to use this in very uh, in a very funny way. Camp Tuckahoe. Look out for that. I'll show that one day. And here is some uh, iron-ons that says cheer. Here is a cutter. And I have quite a few of uh, cutters, but I like these here. I only have like two of these. So. And it's very, it's very sharp. It's still sharp. I don't think it was used. And here is uh, this. This is like a punch out. Some sort of you put this together. I don't know. I'm going to leave this like this though. That's what it looks like on the back. Looks authentic. Here are some uh, stamp alpha stamps. I thought these were cute. And I don't think I have any this small in this design. Here is a uh, booklet, a sales book booklet, and it's vintage. New back orders is what it's what it says at the top. And as you can see, it's stamped and everything. Yeah, it's and it's vintage. Use that in junk journals. Here's another charm. This is a harp. It's nice. And here are some uh, note cards I thought were so pretty that I will add in my botanical bird uh, junk journals. Can you see those? And these are by the Cornell Lab of Ornithology. Nice. Very pretty. Okay, and I have some two journals and a book I want to show you. This is a journal. This is Piccadilly. Uh, isn't that beautiful? And that's the front. And this is an A4 size. That's the back. It's gorgeous. Piccadilly. And this is the inside. The paper is Piccadilly, so it's, it's okay. And so that's what it looks like. It's I think it's like 180. Let's see. I think it's like 180 sheets. I'm not sure. Uh, but that's very nice, too. Okay, and here is one. This is huge. This is bigger than a <laughs> A4. This is bigger than an A4. You see... Um, can you see that? Yeah. That's how much bigger it is than A4. So, and it has a, uh, it's gold foiled. See that? Uh, gold. And gold rings. Love it. Has a few. Now, this just happened. I've got scratches on it. Waiting to do this crap. And look at the lines. It's, can you see that? Come on, focus. Stop that. Okay, there we go. Sorry. And, yeah. I love, you know, I love big books. If you've seen my videos before, you know I love those big books. And this is one of them. Okay, and then I bought this book. The Desire Map, A Guide to Creating Goals with Soul. It says, knowing how you want to feel is the most potent clarity you can have. Generating those feelings is the most powerful thing you can do with your life. And this is by Danielle Laporte. And so, I hope that's how you pronounce her last name, Laporte. So, this is her. Alrighty, you got that? Okay. And I'm just going to flip through. This is, what, this is her back cover. And her backstory. And I, I uh, flipped through this at the outlet, and I said, I'm going to get this. Yeah. And I, I was, it, 
it caught my eye and my attention and goal setting and goal achieving right now uh, I set goals and I set short-term goals and I see them through I like better results on my long-term goals. I like and my and my short-term goals, short-term goals cuz they add up to they are a process to my long-term goals. I would like to see uh, better results or more results in my short-term goals so that my long-term goals will be met to the desire that I have, uh, that I've envisioned and that I'm expecting and that I'm trying, the goal that I'm trying to achieve, you know, the best outcome that I could possibly achieve. So I'm hoping this will bring more clarity to how I can go about doing just that. And uh, I haven't read uh, this book. Um, I just flip, I just uh, flipped through it. I don't know this author. I'm not familiar with her. So I'm hoping that uh, this does what I'm expecting it to do. And if it does, or whether it does or doesn't, if you'd like to see uh, me talk about this book, this um, after I've read it, leave a comment and let me know. And I'll do just that. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had fun shopping and I had fun doing this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I have more to show and I have more to share. Love you all. Bye.